Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, today I want to do a video and it's a question from Anthony who lives in North Carolina, USA. Anthony has asked me, can other people live my life? So today I'm just going to give you a theory. I'm going to give you a suggestion or opinion. But at the end of the day, we all have to come to our own beliefs of what we believe in. Yes? So let's go there with what Anthony has asked me. And I'll, and I'll offer you the suggestion that I offered to him in the email. I'm going to call myself Linda today because this is Linda's body. Okay? Or should I say it's the life of Linda? Linda was born in two I'm sorry, 1966. Linda will die sometime in the future. When the soul inhabiting Linda, this persona, when that soul leaves this body, when the body dies, what happens? It could stay as a ghost, it, as a Linda. It could go to heaven where it can transmute back to any life that soul had ever lived or it could go to a hell loop which I'm writing hell explained as we talk so that book offers the suggestions or theories on what I believe happens when people go to hell and why they go to hell so Linda from 1966 up until whenever can anyone else come in and live this character or this persona again? And the answer that I believe is yes. Can my soul, whoever I am, I am without Linda, can that soul re-inhabit Linda again or again or again and again and again and again and again, 10,000 times again? Yes, because time does not exist. And how do we learn lessons unless we re repeat over and over that lesson so we pass it? So I believe that souls can go into other persona people, um, their characters, okay, characters of the life of this planet, or they can go into um, themselves again. So I understand, because I was in heaven for such a long time, I understand how this time doesn't exist. But let's have a look at some words like premonition. How does premonition truly work when we are remembering future events? Because that's what we're actually doing, because time does not exist. So if I have a dream of next weekend I win lotto, or as what happened to me in the 1980s, where I dreamt that I was at the Melbourne Cup, so I woke up and I knew who won that Melbourne Cup three days later, the horse race. Did I know who was going to win? Because I've already lived that life. So I knew the horse that was going to win that specific year. Huh. Now let's have a look at deja vu. Remember how we have these little moments where we think, glitch, I've had done this before? Is it that we actually have done this before? And therefore, we are reliving the same events over and over and over again. Like Groundhog Day. Huh. I believe the answer is yes, because it makes so much sense when it explains what premonition and deja vu is. When we think we've already lived this life before, or we have our soul has another soul is now living this persona of Linda again and again and again and again. How many times can we relive the same event like Groundhog Day? until we learn that lesson and get it right. Now, if we look at the movie Groundhog Day with um, Bill Murray, what happened right at the end? 
he did everything that he was supposed to do that day where he learned all the lessons he learned how to be humbled he learned how to be caring for that old guy that died he was learning how to be compassionate towards the girl that he was falling in love with so he was learning all these life lessons generosity kindness love and most of all forgiveness he had to forgive himself why that man died and he couldn't save him so it wasn't until he learned all these lessons that he woke up and it was the day after does it make sense for you I hope so because can another person live my life yes they can but it's not another person it's another soul so our souls are eternal we can go into the persona of Elvis Presley we can become Princess Diana we can become Muhammad um, Muhammad Ali we can become Axel Rose if we wanted to from Guns N' Roses we could be any soul any being that we want because our soul is eternal and life on this world as time simply does not exist it's a lot to get our heads around isn't it but I hope it's giving you something to think about because when we think have I learnt my lessons in this life of course we're going to come back and right now I'm trying to catch up at night with Lucifer the TV series it's on Netflix and I'm actually writing down all the episodes where he talks about the hell loops so I've got one two three and there's four because I've just watched another episode last night but it's where all the hell loops are explained in Lucifer so this is all going into my book hell explained which is just a theory it's just an assumption and if you do agree with this I'd like you to like this video and maybe share it with your friends or if you think this is so far-fetched out out of field let me know in the comments below so we can have a discussion and other people can comment as well because I firmly believe that our soul can inhabit any life or <laughs> repeatedly inhabit the same life over and over and over until we learn our lessons so if you want to know what our life lessons are I have them in my books um, here's the one that I've got in hard copy the teachings of heaven I've got all our life lessons in there spirit guides and life paths explained that book has got all our life lessons in there as well all you got to do is email me and in the comments below I've in the description I've actually got information on how to get my books so please don't spend all your money on Lulu or Amazon come to me directly and save yourself a lot of money okay um, yeah so I do try my best to get the word out there okay so I hope that that's helped you today giving you something to think about and if it has please comment below what you think and on that note I'm going to cut short because I've got a big busy day and I'll talk to you all soon okay bye